And this morning we are getting an exclusive look at a report that is breaking down how dire the opioid crisis is in our area. The Travis County Medical Examiner report comes out later today. KXAN's Grace Reader got an early look and breaks down the data. For the third year in a row, drug overdoses are the leading cause of accidental death in Travis County. That'll be revealed by the medical examiner later today in his 2023 medical examiner report. KXAN exclusively received an advanced copy. The report, you know, is always a kind of grim measure of how bad the the overdose crisis is in Travis County. It's a report we showed Carrie Lupell too. Her son Casey died almost three years ago after taking a Valium laced with fentanyl. It's sad, it's heartbreaking, it's something should have been done a long time ago. The report shows that in 2023, 486 people died of drug overdoses in Travis County. That's up from 417 people the year prior. Looking at overdose deaths where fentanyl was involved, there were 279 of them reported in 2023. That's also up from 2022, where we were at 245. We've had more deaths again from uh, fentanyl and opioids in general. We're increasing at a slower rate, though. Travis County Judge Andy Brown contributes that last part to things like more access to naloxone, an overdose reversal medication, and more emphasis on recovery housing. The county also signed on with a group that will help it collect data on non-fatal overdoses just a couple weeks ago. And I think once we get that data up and running, we will see the ratio between uh, overdoses that did not result in death and deaths from overdose. And I think that will really inform our public health work whether it's working or not. But the president of Texas Against Fentanyl, who lost her son Tucker to the deadly drug, thinks the work needs to be happening faster. We need to magnify this message, magnify this voice, and and move faster. We need to have a COVID-like response. That's where the county is once again calling on the state for help, including putting more funding into education and resources and legalizing fentanyl testing strips, which can help someone detect the fatal drug. The sad thing is that we we could do different things to prevent those deaths that we're not doing at the state level. And we clearly need to do more at the local level too to address what is the number one cause of accidental death in Travis County again in 2023. A crisis in Travis County and in our country that knows no bounds. Talk about it. Don't shy away from it because it could be you that is impacted by this. Grace Reader, KXAN News. The medical examiner report will be released to Travis County commissioners and the public this afternoon during commissioner's court. It will also give us data on traffic fatalities and the number of people who died while experiencing homelessness. We've got all of those reports teed up for you later today. Stick with us on KXAN and KXAN.com.